Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video, I will show you how to boost FPS in Valorant. We are gonna be optimizing your PC and the game itself to get the maximum performance and as low input delay as possible using various optimizations and tweaks. As I've probably told you before, Valorant is actually a highly CPU reliant game, so most of your performance in Valorant depends on the CPU and how well it is optimized. Therefore, we are gonna be focusing more on optimizing our CPU to the best we can. This is a complete guide on how you can get more fps in valorant and if you find it helpful then make sure to share it with others who might need it as well and without any further ado let's get straight into today's video alrighty so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is downloading the valorant fps pack and using this to optimize your game and everything inside of here is automated and made by me so you can eat the fruits of my labor without even thanking me yeah right anyways in order to download this pack you can go onto my website and there should be a new post up at the top here or you can just go ahead and search Valorant here and once you go ahead and click on that post it should open up once this opens scroll down go ahead click on the download button and it should open up a media file tab if it doesn't it should open up an ad because I need money I am poor so go ahead and close that ad and then click on the download button again and it should open up the media file page once this opens up go ahead and download the pack and that should be it you can go ahead and open this pack up using 7-zip winrar or whatever you want so go ahead and double click on it to open it up drag this onto your desktop and now you can go ahead and close out of this so open up this pack and go into the optimizations now inside of here go into the cleanup folder and clean up the messes that you have spread in your life well after you are done with that go ahead and right click on the delete log files run it as administrator and it's going to delete all of the log files that are basically useless just like you so once it completes it should automatically close down and then what you need to do is right click on the delete temporary files.cmd and run it as administrator once it's done press any key to continue and then delete the windows update cache so run it as administrator as well and it's going to first stop the service and then delete the files so yeah this batch file was made by trimmers like it said and most of this pack was actually inspired by trimmers video on the valorant so yeah make sure to check out his channel then press any key to continue and then last thing is the malware bytes what we're gonna be doing is running it as administrator go ahead and click on scan now and it should go ahead and scan for any adware that's on your pc so once this process is completed go ahead and select all of those and click on quarantine i am obviously not gonna do that because i'm recording and it's going to close all of these programs which i don't want however for you you can go ahead and click on the quarantine then click on continue and it should be done then restart your pc and that's it that's basically all now you can go ahead and go back into the pack once more open up the cmd tweaks and run the bcd tweaks.cmd as admin go ahead and press any key to continue then go ahead and do the same for all three of these so right click run it as administrator press any key to continue then disable windows tracking and spyware run it as administrator it's going to go ahead and complete its work press any key to continue and then remove the runtime broker.exe so run this one as admin as well and inside of the driver tweaks this is basically for the hdd and ssds so just go ahead and use the one where you have installed your valorant so for me it's on my hard drive so i'm gonna just go ahead and run it as administrator and that should be it now you can go back into the pack and open up the registry tweaks now for the ram optimizations we're gonna go ahead and open this up and select the file that corresponds to your ram size so in order to check that go ahead and open up the start menu search for this pc right click on it and go to properties inside of here you should be able to see the installed ram and for me it's 16 gigabytes so I'm gonna go ahead and select the 16 GB RAM .reg. and in case you have an odd amount of RAM which is not listed here you can go ahead and use the closest one to you so for example if I had 10 gigabytes of RAM which is not present here I would probably choose 8 gigabytes similarly if I had 7 gigabytes of RAM I would use 6 gigabytes which I mean I don't know why would you have such a thing but yeah it's your life you can mess it up anyways go ahead and double click on the one that corresponds to your RAM size hit yes hit ok now you can go back open up the Valorant high priority and set the valorant to high priority hit yes hit ok pretty genius right setting valorant to high priority anyways right client services to low priority 
hit OK and the right line crash handler to low priority as well. Once that is done, go back and you can go ahead and just apply all of these one by one. But we are going to be starting with the advanced priority optimizations. So hit yes, hit OK, decrease delay. All of these parts were made by Dreamers once again. So yeah, go ahead and check out his channel. Uh, then for the rest of the tweaks, just go ahead and follow me. Now that we are done with all of these, what we can do is go back into the pack and go back once more. Copy the Valorant best game settings to your desktop so go ahead and open it up and then what you need to do is right click on the valorant dressfix.exe and run it as administrator by the way go ahead and open up this credits.txt and you can find the link to the github so this man right here made a program to change the settings of another program because dumbasses like you can't do it yourself anyways what you need to do is click on the apply low settings if you are not satisfied with the ones that you are using so go ahead and click on apply low settings hit ok and it should be quite low however if you think that you can play on better quality then just restore to default and maybe change settings for once yourself yeah but for the rest of you go ahead and apply low settings hit ok click on save changes ok once again and then you can close out of this now that we're done with the pack you can go ahead and delete all of this or you can keep it it's really up to you it's your pc not mine do whatever you want with it anyways moving on to the next step we're gonna be optimizing some of the window settings so that you can can get better fps and as low latency as possible in valorant and in order to do that open up your start menu go inside of these settings and we're going to be starting off with the system settings inside of here just make sure that the scale and layout is set 200 percent and that's basically it you can set the resolution to whatever you want then under the notifications make sure that these are turned off and for the focus assist you guessed it turn it off well if you did not guess then i don't know what are you even doing here on this planet anyways go back on to home and now you can go into the apps inside of here go into the startup apps and disable all of the ones that you don't use a little common sense don't disable the vanguard train notification because for some reason i don't know why just valorant does not run without it yeah it's dumb anyways go back into the home settings once again once you have obviously disabled all of the apps that you don't want to start up go into the accounts so inside of here it should be something like this a local account but in case it says a microsoft account then you have screwed up and there is no way to turn back well i'm just kidding you should go ahead and sign out of that microsoft account and log in with a local account because microsoft loves stealing your data yeah that wasn't a joke that's completely serious microsoft loves stealing your data like every other big tech company anyways go ahead and sign out of your microsoft account and sign in with a local account i know they will say you things like you will get this benefit this benefit this benefit with a microsoft account but if you want a game and if you want to follow me then just sign out just please sign out so once you have done that go back into the home and then you can go into the gaming uh, turn off the game bar you can use nvidia shadow play i think amd has a recorder itself or even obs but i wouldn't recommend the game bar go into the game mode and turn it on under the related settings go into the graphic settings set this to desktop app hit browse and then what you need to do is browse to the valorant so for me it's inside of my d disk drive inside of games riot games valorant live shooter games binaries win64 and this one right here in case that was all confusing go back and watch the video again anyways once you have found this hit on add it's already added so i'm gonna click on it click on options and set this to high performance hit save also for some of you who are rich and have money unlike me and have a better graphics card there should be a hardware acceleration option right up here so go ahead and enable that because that's going to boost your life i mean your game so go back into the home once again and go into the search options for the save search go ahead and turn this off and then go ahead and disable the search history as well and clear device search history then for searching windows go ahead and set this to classic go back to home once again go into the privacy and basically disable everything here except for maybe allowing apps to use microphone and camera if that's something you want you can go ahead and disable all of this but the most important one is obviously the background apps so go ahead and turn all of these off because we don't want any of these apps running in the background while we are playing the game eating up the resources just for free there and decreasing our performance so go ahead and turn this off if you want go on to the home once again and go into the update and security now i have personally disabled the updates but you can go ahead and update your windows if you don't want it updating when you are playing the game so once you have updated your windows just go ahead and pause the updates for seven days consecutively so that the windows cannot update while you're playing the game and mess up your ping and performance so once you have done this 
click on delivery optimizations and make sure that allow downloads from other PCs are turned off and under the advanced options go ahead and copy these settings so set this to percentage go ahead and set both of these to 5% same thing for the upload settings and that's it now you can close out of these settings and we are done now you should be able to go ahead and see up to 30% of improvement in not only FPS but latency in Valorant just by doing those steps however there is one more thing that I'm gonna show you guys that you can do to increase the performance even more and that is to optimize your graphics card basically update your graphics card drivers and use the optimal settings now scroll down to the description of this video and you should find two links one to the nvidia website and the other to amd website you can go ahead and check which graphics card you are using by right clicking on your desktop and seeing the name right here so in my case i have the nvidia control panel therefore i am using the amd graphics card if you understood that then i think you are smart otherwise go see a doctor so yeah i'm using an nvidia graphics card and what you need to do is open up this website search for your graphics card right here click on search and then once this opens up go ahead and click on the download button and install the drivers that's basically how dumb people would install it however if you are smart and you want to optimize the graphics driver as well then check out this video which is on screen and up in the card as well which is going to show you how to properly install drivers for the best latency and overall best performance it is going to show you the proper way of installing the driver as well as optimizing the nvidia settings so go ahead and check out that video after watching this one don't leave this one in the middle you idiot watch this first full so in case you are using an amd graphics card what you need to do is open up this website once again the link is in the description just go ahead and select your graphics card from here click on submit and then it should open up something like this go ahead and select your windows version and then go ahead and download the latest driver now for amd ones i don't have a modern solution i mean you can go ahead and follow that nvidia guide on how to properly install drivers but you will probably have to change a couple of things you can also watch this video which is on screen and up at the card as well which shows you the best amd settings however it's been quite a while since i have updated that one and now that i don't use an amd graphics card you're quite out of luck with me however there are a tons of youtube guides as well as guides on the internet which shows you the best amd control panel settings so go ahead and look up any guide on youtube or on the internet on how to get the best amd control panel settings and you should be really good regardless of what you choose applying all of these settings and following me step by step should get you around 30 to 40 percent increase in performance overall and that's not my year thing but i'm sure that you'll see the results yourselves if you do then be sure to let me know in the comments down below however if this video helps you in any way shape or form then make sure to like the video and also share it with any other of your valorant friends that might be in need of this anyhow if you want more performance in fortnite or in windows general then go ahead and check out this video right here click on it it won't go until you click on it and if you want to optimize your mouse for the better input delay then click on this video yeah i'm still waiting for you to click on any one of those videos so you're seriously not gonna click on those yeah click on one of these yeah yeah just like that thank you